Hello everyone, welcome back to IDB with Gas Mask Review. Uh, the intros change a lot because I don't really plan these. I don't have a script. You'll probably spot that by the fact that I do a lot of ums and ahs and fuck. You know, I'm not creative. Today we're going to be looking at another World War II mask. Uh, I don't do many of these because I don't own a lot of them uh, due to the you know, asbestos count and uh, no longer used threads, I don't often bother. But sometimes, if it's a good price, I'll pick it up for a collector's, like, you know, collector's sake. So today we're going to be looking at, if I don't hit the microphone please, the Belgian L702. That's the L.702 if you want to be specific. And the filter, you may notice that the filter is, um, uh, what's the word, fucking massive. <laughs> it's big. I mean, here's an FM12 filter. Uh, it's not quite as wide, but I mean, look at that thing, it's a unit. Uh, you know, when you pay for postage on one of these, you're mostly paying for this. My filter is unopened, if you can read that. Uh, that's in French, I believe. I'm not sure because I didn't have them in French in years, but uh, this is a Belgian mask, and Belgians, of course, uh, there are different languages in different parts of Belgium. They do German, Dutch, and French. This is a World War II mask, it's an interesting case. It's a weird one. Uh, I have nicknamed it the Depression Sock, just because look at it. It's, uh, yeah, uh, it's pretty ugly. These are meant to be brown, you may notice mine's fucking grey, because it's kind of disgusting. If you'll focus. Oh, I've got a bit of focusing there. You'll be able to see stamps on it. I've got a rounded one here, and a square one here that just looks like it says the word control. Uh, there's no date on it because the, the dates would have been on the stamps, so I cannot see it. Uh, I believe Bakelite. These are actually very durable because, like I said, these are World War II. However, you can get the date down to 1938 to 1940. They were made for two years, apparently according to the wiki, and they were designed, of course, you know, to be a nationwide gas mask for that country. Uh, However, they very rarely saw service, I believe. I think most of the ones were made right up to the point where Germany invaded Belgium and, of course, uh, Belgium's occupation by the Nazi forces. So most of these sat in storage and in facilities for years. In fact, um, there was a fort that was opened up in around 2008, I believe, and there's a very famous picture online of a colossal pile of these just up halfway through the room with just the sunlight beaming down on them. I'm not sure if this is one from there. Uh, a part of me wants to clean it to get it back to its original brown colour which you can see on these straps as opposed to the grey mottled look. But another part of me likes the uh, patina on it. So. It's got lots of red markings inside, little red stains if you can see them. Lovely. Now, of course, it is a World War II mask, so no Tissot tubes and no oral nasal cup, so it will fog up if you intend to use it. If you do intend to use it, though, um, what are you doing? <laughs> no, I'm joking. There's, these are quite common. I will actually be selling this because as much as I do love the design, uh, I like money. And I've got no use for it because, as I did mention in a previous video, I do like to get ones in the largest size available. That's my task. It uh, adds a bit more interest because if you're a collector that just goes, right, I'll buy any mask, any at all. If I want it, I'll get it, any price. Then fair enough. But you're going to be a lot more bored. I like to look for the largest size available because it means, A, if I can wear it, I will be able to wear it. Like It's not uh, got a built-in filter and such. And also, it just adds a bit more challenge because it's like, oh, this is a design I really want, but it's too small. No. Someone out there will appreciate it who can actually wear it. Obviously, some you shouldn't, but you get my point. So, thick brown rubber. These have actually survived very well. They are durable. And a bit of a stretch <laughs> to move. This is a 25mm thread. It's a DIN thread. D-I-N. In fact, you can screw this off the other way to reveal your exhale valve. I'm not sure if it's meant to be designed like that, or if mine has just perfectly torn as a circle. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Looking at it closely, it does look like that is the intended design. So. There we go. The lovely depression sock. 
Like I said, new filter, so I'm not going to pop it open down the bottom, but even then I wouldn't want to be breathing through it. There are very few 25mm DIN filters, if you can see inside. It's all the mesh, lovely. Focused in quickly this time. I know you may think that I handle gas masks roughly, but the thing is, I do a mixture of a firm grip, but I do actually care for them. So this is a size 2. Uh, you'll be able to see on here it says focus sort of focusing no there we go the L.702 mod L depose tail I don't know how to pronounce that so I'm going to spell it out for you M O D E L E space D E P O D E P O S E space T A I L L E space and then 2 I know that doesn't mean size 2 because I translated it, but I forget what the exact translation is. So like I said, World War II, uh, there's not much to it, Belgian. There is something interesting which you may think that this is damaged, or it's not. If you can push it down, you'll be able to see that uh, it splits into two. And then when you actually pull it back up, don't force it like I just started forcing there. Just take your time. Wait for it, there it is. And the split runs down the middle. I thought it was uh, damaged. However, you can see here the flap. It is a design choice. You can also see here the amount of dirt under my nails. I do a lot of garden work now that we're all under quarantine and lockdown. Filter's a bit battered. Uh, like I said, you cannot get 25mm modern filters, nor can you get a, a adapter. I can imagine someone should make an adapter, but at the same time, I don't want to see people just buying old World War II masks for the sake of haha, -ha, mask cheap and funny. I, if you want that, just buy a fucking Schlemmy. And if you don't know what that means, um, good for you. You're not a degenerate. So yeah, this was just an interesting piece. There isn't much to say about it. I don't recommend buying one to wear. Uh, brown basic rubber, five point head harness. What is interesting is that it does connect to a ring. This is the back of your head. I imagine this is much better for males as they have a lump in the lower back part of the skull. And uh, while well, I say better, it will catch on it and um, it kind of hurts. It does actually kind of hurt. But this is a size two, so this is too small. Uh, I won't be wearing it. There is actually something interesting though. So while these are all interesting, and they're a cool design, they're very good. Like, they have survived very well for a World War II mask. There are many World War II masks like these two where they're thin, they're shit, they're cheap. This is strong, it's durable. I mean, look at the thickness on that rubber. That is lovely, but it actually looks really thin on the camera. Yeah, on the camera that looks paper thin, but trust me, this is a durable thing. So, this is a light bulb. I presume L.702 stands for light bulb 702, not really. But, uh, that will actually create an airtight seal because I did briefly put it on despite being a size 2 for the sake of uh, an image that I'll probably include at the end of this video because it, it would seem quite funny, but it is airtight. I couldn't breathe, and so I did start it. <gasps> well, I noticed there was no air coming in. So that's just interesting. Of course, you'll need a screw thread light bulb. Good luck in these days, because a lot of them are all prong. You just ding, twist. So that was the L702, the Belgian L702 from the Second World War. Very few got used, as of course uh, Belgium was occupied by Nazi German forces during 1940, and so most of them sat in storage for years. Very interesting, 25 millimeter DIN filter. A very big filter, I call it the Skull Crusher. Like I said, these aren't dated, which is a shame. Uh, you can just see there it says 19 and then just a big scratch, so no idea. I will be selling these on eBay at some point, however, I probably won't get to the eBay listing, like putting it online for weeks. So if you see this early and you want it, um, drop a comment down below, I will see it. Uh, there we go, at least at some point. And uh, I'll consider your top priority. 
Uh, I'm not sure what to put in it, so I'll probably put um, 25 quid with it. So. I mean, fuck it. If you want to pay 25 quid, I'll throw the light bulb in. So there you go. Belgian L.702, very interesting mask, a bit of tragic history, very cool, 100% recommend getting one if you can. They were common on the surface market years ago, but now they're mostly gone. Thank you for your time, and stay safe out there.